Hello everybody and welcome, my name is Eric and today I'm actually in French Landing in Orange City, Florida. Right now I'm literally at the boat right now, but basically this park is uh, for kayakers, canoers, boaters and such and you can barely see the water. <laughs> it's so cold today though. Check it out. That'll be so cool. Now I brought the drone with me today so you guys can see it's placed on the air, but I'm gonna give it a little bit for the sun to come out and the uh, and the fog to go away a little bit so you guys can see everything from the air. Stay tuned. The world seems small. We can sit together. It's so beautiful. You and me. We meant to be in the great outdoors. Well, as you guys, you guys saw from the air, I thought that the place would look bad because of the fog, but it actually looked amazing. It looked like a, like a fantasy world. So, anyway, now that I'm done with the uh, with the aerial footage from um, from here, I'm gonna get my boat, drag it onto the water, and uh, get head to the lake. Now, this is the St. Johns River that connects to Lakes Barefort towards the north, that way, and then there's Lake Lake Monroe, which is that way, and Blue Springs. I'm gonna try to go to all three if I can. Now, Blue Springs, I will not be able to enter with my boat, but I can probably get the drone, shoot it in the air, and shoot over towards the river run, and um, for kayakers and all that, <clears throat> and see if I can reach the uh, the Blue Springs, and then, again, go to Lake Sparrowford, and then Lake Monroe. Stay tuned. All right, now I got the engine running. I'm leaving the boat right as we speak. I'm gonna head towards uh, Lake Barefort. Should take me about, I don't know, like that man, it shouldn't take that long. It's about two, three miles away from here. Now, Lake Monroe though, that one is about eight to 10 miles from here. That will take me a little bit. So without any further ado, let's get right to it. And let me show you guys what I'm looking at. <laughs> this is my view right now. I can barely see anything. <laughs> I bet that if I reach the lake and I shoot the drone in the air to catch the lake and all the fog is in it, I'll probably look amazing. Anyway, onwards towards the lake. The fog is slowly disappearing, little by little. Still on my way to Lake Bearsford. <laughs> all right, look at the sun right through the fog. <laughs> that is so cool. I like that. Guys, a gator. <laughs> There it is. Don't be shy. Ah. Okay, I have finally arrived at Lakes Barefort and there appears to be some rowers over there. A lot of rowers. They're probably practicing and competing, I bet. But this is the lake. It's uh, still a little bit foggy. Sun's coming out. But I bet that once I shoot the drone into the air, it'll look pretty amazing. So without any further ado, let me take the drone out and shoot it in the air so you guys can see the lake and everything in it. Sometimes you need to go and take a step back to see the truth around you. From a distance you can tell. I love that little drone. Now on this lake, towards that way, uh, there is a state park called Huntoon Island State Park. I've been meaning to camp in there, but I haven't had the chance to do so. Every time I check it, it's booked. But nonetheless, I'm gonna stop by there so you guys can see the entrance and what it looks like. And then I'll head to Lakes Monroe. Look at those guys, bro. Look at them. That is really cool. Look at 
Look at him go. That is amazing. Yeah, now we're moving. Okay guys, so this is Huntoon Island State Park. It's an island in the middle of the St. John's River. The river uh, surrounds this piece of land, making it an island. And there's the ferry over there that takes people from the land into the park. So yeah, one day, one day I'm gonna camp in this place. Huntoon Island State Park. <laughs> That's pretty cool. All right, set to Lake Monroe. Okay, I have arrived at the uh, Blue Springs River entrance, it's, which is literally right there. And it wasn't that far from the boat ramp of um, French Landing. So maybe like, maybe 2,000 feet, that's it. So here it is. And I'm hoping to catch the, um, like I said earlier, um, the spring. So I'm gonna get the drone, drone ready and see if I can actually achieve that. All right. I'm sure that drone footage came out quite right, but I'll do the best that I can to edit it. But nonetheless, I'm gonna head myself to Lake Monroe so you guys can see that lake as well. All right. Look how beautiful this river one looks like without all the fog. This place will be great for kayaking and canoeing. No doubt about it. Beautiful. All right, Lake Monroe is about eight miles away, so it'll take me a little bit to get there. Here we go. Okay, I have arrived to Interstate 4, which is right there. Um, due to having so many wires around, I will not be able to make a dramatic shot with the drone, but I'm gonna shoot the drone on the air to reach a safe height so I can shoot toward Lake Monroe and catch a lake. So stay tuned. <laughs> Woo! A lot of traffic in this area. I was fighting with the wake against big uh, other big boats. All right, enough of that. Let me uh, shoot the drone. bird on a tree I'm just sitting here I got time it's clear to see from up here the world seems small we can sit together well, everybody, this will conclude this video. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video as much as I enjoyed making it. This place was pretty cool. For those of you who want a kayak, canoe, inflatable boat, or regular boat, this place is pretty cool. So I'll see you guys on the next video. Take care.